Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I'm reviewing a colossal 34 inch LG ultra wide gaming monitor. We're going to be showing you how it looks in game, some of the neat features and some of the things about it. And of note, oddly enough, this is not a sponsored video. I have no compensation, no payment, no sponsorship. And the only requirements that I have, I'm going to post them on the screen right now. Basically that I put ultra wide in the title and that I do the review by a certain date. It's very, very, very straightforward. So just a straight up monitor review with nothing uh, compensating on mine, except that of course I got the product. And as you can see, it's a very big and very beautiful monitor. We're gonna take it upstairs and hook it up in just a second. But I wanted to show you a few other things about it. Like first of all, how humongous of a box it came in. This is one of the bigger products we've reviewed here on the review table very, very big <laughs> box, but the ultra wide curved monitor itself, when you put it together, actually isn't that heavy. You can see I can kind of easily pick it up with two hands. It slides up and down very easily on its mount. And of note, I was able to put this together in about honestly a minute. It only has two or three pieces that snap in very, very easily. I didn't show that process because I've been playing on it for a couple of days to test it out, but it is very, very, very easy to work. There are some neat things on the back that I want to show you, but first, let's take it upstairs. So what you probably want to see is how the monitor looks on an actual desk in an actual workspace and how it would perform for you. I chose to use my wife Jessica's workspace because her monitors sit on the desk. Mine are fixed. I have to like unscrew and take them down from the wall and stuff. But personally, I think it looks very good. It's very big. Here's a hand for scale. I don't happen to have a banana on me. The colors look nice, they're rich, the refresh rate is good, but let's go ahead and get past the Windows login screen. So when I boot it up, this is what the desktop looks like. Of course, we can put any background we want on it and make it look beautiful, but let's talk features and size. It is technically less than two 1080p monitors. If we do a full 1080p screen, it is about this much, or if you want to do it about this much. And one of the things that the, that the uh, monitor came with was what we have uh, screen control software. And I'm capping on OBS, so we'll swap to that, but you can see that I can put it in simulated two screen, down the middle two screen, two horizontal screen, three left. And we do picture in picture if you really want to get some sort of input from like the additional HDMI port, if you want to plug in a PlayStation or an Xbox and play in the corner. So what's probably more useful is this two screen setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in that mode. And I'll show you what it looks like when we boot up a video game. Let me pick one here like Overwatch. And then I will also boot up a, where do you get it? This is my wife's computer, so I'm a little derp on it. You can see it boots up that over there. And I'm gonna go ahead, uh, Jessica, would you like to type in your password? So the idea being that when you split the screens, if you wanted to stream or play a 1080p game or something like that, you can have the game running on one side and you can have all of your Twitch and your streaming and your other sort of things going on on the other side. And I'll bring this up again. Where's this little program at? So that you can see it pretty much does split. I'm actually a little bit over there, uh, but you can uh, just pop it up like that. And we can take this over here and do that. You can do a lot of different uh, things with it, but it goes back to default. You can also do a little custom resizing. Let's see if we can make that happen. Oh man, that is annoying. Why would you be doing that, Overwatch? There is no discernible reason here for this. See, that is one thing about the screen capture program that's annoying, is once I get it kinda right, I need to disable it, and then come back to the game, and then custom resize it, and then custom resize this one. So it's not exactly flawless, and I thought the screen capture program would allow me to like grab and edit these bars, but they kind of don't. Uh, some of the other things you can do is the, the even screens. I don't think this is good for gaming, but you can do it. Uh, for some people that work on Photoshop, they have a ton of stuff going on. They do this crazy like four screen mode. And uh, let me just open up another, <laughs> we'll just do a browser or something here so I can show you exactly how it will snap around. If Firefox is going to cooperate, come on, buddy. All right, oh, it's huge mode, there we go. So you can kind of see now that we've got uh, stuff going on in each corner and it roughly corresponds to the screens. We can do the triple, we can do this on top. There's a lot of different options that you have, and it's nice because it's not a traditional size, 
but it's not quite the same as running two 1080p monitors. Uh, it's, it's, it's more analogous to running one 1080p monitor and one small monitor on the side. Of note, there are some video games like Overwatch that do not support ultra-wide resolution. I wish that they did, but they don't. However, the games that do are downright beautiful. Battlefield 1 does support 2560x1080. It's the only game installed on this computer that does. So when you do get a game that supports this resolution, I gotta let you know, it's absolutely gorgeous. Battlefield 1 being a naturally gorgeous game, not that I'm good at playing at it, I'm a little bit rusty here. Kind of too much Overwatch going on. But it looks downright beautiful. It looks probably, if you're watching this on mobile or on a regular screen, it doesn't look as great. But this sort of wide screen is very, very immersive because that's how our eyes work. That's why we have wider screens instead of vertical ones and why cell phone vertical videos look um, stupid. Where are you at? Did you just jump down here? I don't, I don't even know who I'm chasing. Uh, but it is very natural to how you look around it and it kind of makes sense. And I'm going to see if I can find somebody to shoot them or bayonet them or get a little bit of good gameplay here. Come on. Oh, I don't know what your melee button is. My wife has different melee buttons than I do. Gosh. A few quality of life things that they added to it was that I have the ability to tilt it either way to kind of adjust for a desk that's out of shape. Let me fix it. It's very easy to move up or to pull down. Very, very simple. And overall, oh, you can tilt it. You can tilt it this way and tilt it back down if you want to. Some people just kind of like to have their monitors looking down at them. Some people like to look down at the monitors. It's uh, actually pretty easy to do for a monitor of this size. And while it's not exactly light, it's light given its size. There is one other thing I wanted to show you, and that is the on-monitor menu. Now, this is a little bit funny. Uh, Jessica, would you mind handing me the camera? so that I can kind of see what we've got going on underneath here. Uh, huh. Okay, so if I can make it focus, this strange thing right here is how you control all your options. It's like a joystick, actually. You can move it all, it's like you can click it and you can move it all sorts of different directions. It's, it's like a little nipple underneath the monitor that's a little bit strange. You can see the uh, in monitor menu, I click it and you can pull it up. You can change your inputs uh, really easily. Let's see if I can go back. You can uh, power off. So you have different presets for game modes, FPS, one, two, three, real-time strategy, black stabilizer. Now FreeSync is something really cool they have. It's kind of like an ultra response time, super low motion blur, but it only works for AMD graphics cards. So that's kind of lame. They have their one millisecond motion blur reduction, which I can turn on or off, but I find that it kind of hurts the colors a little bit. So I leave it off. And response time, of course, is on very fast. We, that's good for gaming. So I'm going to go down to close on this. And the rest of the menu on the right-hand side is kind of what you would expect. Brightness, volume, contrast, input, uh, picture. Let's, let's take a look at this. Oh, we have general. Oh, man, we have a bunch of stuff in here. Compatibility, quick charge, ODS lock, uh, your power saving modes so that can be green. But in your picture mode, uh, we have custom modes. We have picture adjust, game adjust picture reset, all sorts of different things that would be expected on a monitor at this price point. So on the back, you have a power supply. You have two HDMI inputs, very standard. We have a glorious display port for even higher quality if you're in the IPS, super photo editing or cinema file or something like that. We have audio ports that are very straightforward. But one thing that I found very neat were these three USB ports. Now this one is a super speed that connects directly to your computer and then to these two USB 3 ports. So you would plug in a USB 3 here and then to the computer, not for monitor updates, but as like a USB hub pass through so that I could then plug in my cell phone, my gaming mouse, my whatever, my hard drive, anything I want right here to the back and it would pass through the monitor to the computer so that I could just kind of have it easy access on the fly. Uh, Logitech keyboards do that. There's a lot of devices that do that. What I'm probably gonna do with this in a few days is order me a USB 3 cable of this very, this is such a strange <laughs> shape. I don't know why we could have done almost any other one. And then I'll probably have one cable dangling just to charge my cell phone and then one easy mode USB 3 hookup dangle just kind of right like, just a short one, just like a couple of inches. So it would kind of hang down just below the monitor and hook things up kind of down here. That would be very, very nice. Honestly, at the end of the day, I didn't notice too much difference with the ultra fast response time, the instant uh, reduction of, of all these sort of things, the shearing and tearing. Most PC monitors perform similarly, though I do admit it's an experiential thing. 
and that I am not a pro-level PC gamer. If you are an expert PC gamer, if you're playing at 120 FPS, I think this one's only like 60 hertz though. If you're really pushing your monitor for like crazy, crazy performance, if ghosting drives you bananas, then these features may help, but I very rarely run into those on PC. They're a little more common on like giant HDTVs and consoles. Picture quality is great, use is great. It looks beautiful when you watch movies and stuff on here in ultra wide cinematic mode. But the question begs, is it better than running one monitor, one 1080p monitor? Absolutely, this beats the tar out of a regular 1080p monitor, but does it beat two 1080p monitors? And the answer is probably no. It's technically not quite as wide as two 1080p monitors. It's a little bit smaller than that. And even though you can split the screen regions up and do some interesting things, you do sacrifice a little bit of screen, sp screen space. As a professional YouTuber and streamer, I need lots and lots of screen space. I currently run two 1080p monitors. I considered running three. Uh, that might be just on me. For the average gamer that just wants to play games, that doesn't want to stream, that wants to have a very nice gaming experience, this is fantastic. You can play games on it, and even the games that don't support ultra-wide, you can run other things on the side. If you're going to do a little more casual streaming, you could run games on one side and your Twitch stuff on the other. If you don't have too many overlays, too many pop-ups, too many different windows, but I have like five programs going and all sorts of complicated stuff on one monitor, and then my gaming on the other. So if you're going to do like super high-level gaming and production, probably not the best monitor unless you run this with another additional like vertical monitor on the side which i think is what my wife is going to do she's going to take this and run this for her streams and get like a smaller uh, sort of vertical monitor on the side so my overall opinion it's a fantastic monitor there's nothing wrong with it at all games look beautiful the features are for the most part good if not a little bit unnecessary for my personal taste pc gamers are a little different only downsides being it's a little bit smaller than two 1080p monitors, but we forgot the most important thing, animal testing. And we have an animal right over here. <whistles> animal, are you ready? Hey, hey, Boondi, come over here, bud. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna give you a pickup, okay? We're gonna do a multi-step process. Here's step one, Wee. he doesn't like being picked up. Step two, Wee. what do you think, bud? Look, right here, look right here. It's a monitor. Come here, bud. Look, what do you think? What are you doing, bud? Come here. I'll turn you around real quick. Hey, bud, what do you think? You like 20, 2560 X1080? Hmm? Do you like big monitors and you cannot lie? It like lords over the dog. Do you see this? It's like the, the black obelisk in uh, <laughs> 2001 A Space. It's like, worship me, monkey. Worship me. Ha, 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 ha. I don't think he cares. Well, it's definitely not animal uh, harmful. It's animal safe. So animal testing. Yay. So while the extra monitor is awesome, uh, we needed a little bit of extra space for streaming. So the end result is we decided to scoot it over so that the ultra wide monitor is for gaming and for most of the fun stuff. And we just have this little other monitor over here for like stream overlays and crapola. We're probably gonna turn it vertical later, but this is gonna be my wife's permanent setup.